Jill Maher's husband will meet with the Victorian Parole Board over why Adrian Bailey was released from prison before he killed Mr Maher's wife. In a statement, the Parole Board says it sought permission from the Corrections Minister to disclose information which we would not otherwise be able to release. So for the details, live now to our Melbourne Bureau Chief, Aaron Young. Aaron, what can you tell us? In a remark, good morning to you both. It's taken two letters, a lot of publicity to get the parole board on to budge to this, but they have blamed a faulty spam filter on their email account as the reason they hadn't received Tom Maher's first email dated June the 24th. He sent another one after they failed to respond. But then yesterday there were crisis talks between the board and Community Correction Services Chief. Uh, Chiefs, the Justice Elizabeth Curtin has now written to Tom Maher offering to meet him, but Justice Curtin reportedly complained that the board was not getting a enough support from the Victorian government, the state government. So the Premier has now weighed in saying he can absolutely understand why Tom Maher will be very disappointed with a lack of a response from the parole board to his inquiries. The Corrections Minister Edward O'Donoghue has now exercised his authority. This happened yesterday to waive the confidentiality rules barring a briefing that allows this meeting to take place. Tom Maher took to Facebook yesterday after the parole board told the Herald Sun that they'd lost his emails in the spam. He may now finally get an answer from them though.